Good afternoon and welcome to a very special edition of the Tea Room. If you're watching this now live, it's the 29th of September 2022 at 2pm 2 GMT plus one. And we have a new release that's just dropped of Christopher Ward watches. So before we show you those watches, let me just introduce, me, uh, introduce you to the panel. Uh, next to me, we have Palm. Good afternoon, Palm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Then we have Andy, Batch Guitar. Good afternoon, Andy. Hey. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Andy. We have Cherish Time Watches. Good afternoon, Cherish. everyone. Then we have Pocket, Dodging the Storms. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> and then we have Red Shovel. Hello, Red Shovel. How are you doing? Good afternoon, everyone. Excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to play now a nice video that's been uh, put together by Andy which is going to show uh, all these lovely watches from Christopher Ward. <laughs> There you go. As you can see, they've updated their military range um, and introduced the, the nice. Sandhurst Bronze, which is a new model. And also the other Sandhurst, as well as all the watches having the um, the new CD, CW logo on instead of Christopher Ward written on them. Mm -hmm. It's also got arrowed fully brushed hands as well. Okay, let me just show you the pictures now that have been sent to me by uh, Christopher Ward. Let me just share my screen now, guys. And then I'll make this full screen. And if you can all confirm to me, you can see full screen. Can you yeah, said everyone see full screen? Yeah, yes. Can. That's good. Yeah. Excellent. Sure can, yeah. Okay. So that's the first one. Okay, so that's the C65 Cranwell Series 2. The price on this one is £895, <laughs> which is uh, $1,080 US dollars. Well, I don't know. It might have changed now. <laughs> or yeah. 1,165 yeah. euros. <laughs> now, look at this. I'm not so sure on the on the strap choice of this. I hope you can do a okay. different straps on it. Mm. I, don't I know like it, either. actually. Um, I like that. Yeah. I, like I like that, too. Yeah, yeah kind I like of that too. rugged. Okay, sort of, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wear it. <laughs> no, what, what's your reason? Well, what's I'm your reason, John? Mil military, it should be... It should be should be NATO, really, but that's me being... Mm. Fixed lugs. <laughs> well, all right. You're not yeah, going to get me fixed lugs. Marine the National. Yeah. You're never going to get me fixed yeah. lugs on, it, on the Christmas War, but I think maybe uh, maybe, a, maybe a NATO, I don't know. But I don't know, it may okay. grow on me if I get to see one. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got a few... Let's go through. We've got a few pictures of these. That's, a, that's still mm -hmm. the same watch at the moment. Yeah. Um, as you can see, they've got rid of the, uh, the Christopher Ward writing and they've got the Christopher Ward logo there. And it's sure. got fully brushed hands, I think they say now. So that's the difference on it. Nice. I think the main difference is the is definitely the logo. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah, it's nice style. Yeah. Ah. Oh, ah. Not, I like it. Like oh, there we go. Spectre. So he's not a he's not a native plus. So yeah, it's a two it's a, it's a two piece James Bond strap. But it looks it looks mm. better on that strap. Do you, do you really think so? I, I don't yeah. do that. Yeah. No, I don't. No, I think it looks terrible on that. It looks terrible. Oh, wow. terrible. Yeah. Wow. Terrible. Okay. Oh, wow. As a Nintendo fan, crazy. I like it. But I think the other one was nicer. Yeah, but I, maybe, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, as an alternative, maybe if he okay. maybe if he made a needle strap and it was jumper there, it might suit it better. But no, <laughs> yeah. needle would be fine. But yeah, I don't like that color combo. I just don't think it really goes with it. Jumper. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, interesting. But, uh, but the watch, the watch is a nice shape. It looks actually kind of similar to the new uh, Tudor Ranger, and even the hands. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. It's it's very good one. comparison. Yeah, yeah, what what's the size of this one? Thirty eight. So I think it's thirty eight. Thirty eight millimeters. Yeah, yeah. thirty eight yeah. millimeters. And what's the size um, of the Tudor Ranger? Thirty nine. Okay. Nine. They're, they're yeah. Pretty close. close. Yeah. Very back, close. Yeah. yeah. Case. Yeah. It looks like that's where they're going with it, doesn't it? It's a good comparison. That you know. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. That's where they're. Yeah. That's where they're heading. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, and what like kind of back. movement does it have in it? It's got a Salita SW200 cosk. Yeah, it's a so movement. Accurate. Oh, nice. Yeah. So right. very accurate. Yeah. Wow. Look at loom on loom. it. That loom yeah. on it, guys. That loom. Wow. Mm. Loom. Mm. Mm. Definitely. Mm. I think they've impre- increased the loom from what I know from the old one. I think yeah. when they say fully brushed out, they've given it more loom. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Wow. I like the texture wow. of the loom. The Wait, I'm I'm ah, the... Right. What do we think on a bracelet? I must admit, on a bracelet option, I quite like it. The bracelet option. It does look very, nice in a bracelet. Very. Very Tudor Ranger, very yeah, very explorer. explorer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You see where yeah. they go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. I prefer it on the strap. I prefer it on yeah. the strap. I, I prefer the strap. Yeah. 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 If that's the yeah. if that's the new bracelet that they've put out, the new bracelet on the new Christopher Wards is mm. amazing. I've I've I've, I've yeah. tried it a few weeks ago. The bracelet is brilliant. Beautiful bracelet. Cool. If that's one of the new bracelets, it's a it's a mm. fantastic thing. Yeah. Done, done really, really well with okay. the bracelet. Awesome. So, and is it good. standard lugs? Like, so it's a bit of a strap monster. Would that be fair yeah. to say? Yeah, they're, uh, and they're all quick. <coughs> they're all quick release. Um, 20 mil mm-hmm. lugs. Yeah. 20 mil. Yeah. Yeah. Standard, nice. yeah. Nice. Now, yeah. lug to lug 43.6. So it's a good case yeah. size as well okay, yeah so now I th- yeah, nice. yeah okay now the next one i thought we were in say, I, order but then i think i saw a sneak peek of bronze Ooh, you got what my is this one? Ooh, the bronze oh, range okay oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's, nice. That's, that's nice bron- that's a new model now let's admit that mm-hmm. strap that looks brilliant on that strap it isn't it? it's a yeah. great combo actually yeah. yeah i like that comes in a little heavier this one so it's yeah, with the bronze, it's like sixty-six gram, so a little more oh, wow. heavier than the yeah than the other range. But but they I think they're going they're going straight in with the against the Hamilton khaki, aren't they? Absolutely. Khaki field mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. Possibly. That's where yeah. they're Possibly. heading. I think with that, they're, that's a de- comparison mm. with that. I think. Is that a cellcloth str- strap? Is that canvas or what? What's the leather? It, what? I think mm. it's canvas, but it's not. They're, they're, I mean, I, I like yeah. that. Strap. Yeah. What, what price is this, guys? This one. This one is. Um, it's nine hundred and ninety-five in pounds. Oh, it's I a believe. bit more. Mm. It's a bit more than the than that. It's a bit more than the Hamilton. But I think it's a more refined yeah. movement. I don't think the Hamilton's got a refined movement like that. It's sleeter. I think yeah. the Hamilton's a bit yeah. rough and ready. The movement in it. Yeah. That's what I think the head is. It's, yeah, the movement in these. So I've noticed it's got quite a high heartbeat. So about four hertz of these. So Salita um, movements, yeah. SW two hundred. Salita, yeah. Movements. Right. Yeah, it's a solid, solid movement. Yeah, it'd be a smooth sweep. Oh, but... that's lovely. That is really <laughs> it does look nice. nice. You haven't got yeah. a bronze watch, have you? Is that is that maybe scratching your itch for a bronze watch, Red? You ain't got bronze, <laughs> have you? you? Ain't got a bronze yeah. watch, have you? I don't have a bronze watch because I'm not a fan of the you know the sort of you know. You know, the Patina. Patina. Oh, oh, that's the whole thing about it. I love it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm but like, that it. is, that that combination is really beautiful. I really like yeah. that. You yeah. can just clean it. You yeah. can just make sure that yeah. when, it, when it does Patina, you just clean it before it gets too bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say something controversial, guys. Uh-oh. I don't mm-hmm. like it. Oh, go on. 
<laughs> okay. I like bronze watches and yes, sure. I just don't I don't know. I don't what know is why because Yeah, what is it about? Round. It? I think the lugs are too short. Okay. I just just don't okay. like the, the, the okay. shape. That's fair. And the big crown as well. The crown's huge. See, yeah. I, I like big crowns. That's good. That's good. Yeah, speaking. Uh -huh. Mm. But from the size of the watch, I agree. It looks I oversized. Admit, when I, yeah, you, you mm. got a point there, Pat. I mean, you look yeah. now, the crown is... I had noticed that. I had noticed that, too. Yeah. Now I can't unsee that now, Pat. I'm the detail guy. Yeah, you're right. You can't unsee that. You're right, but when the, the looks are different. numbers look too small yeah. now as well. Yeah. I say, when the crown yeah, is nice yeah. short like that, though, it can be big, but it mm. doesn't really protrude very much. So I don't have a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah Palm, you've ruined that, yeah. that for me. You've ruined yeah. that for me now, Palm. Saying, yeah. that, that was a 38 <laughs> mil with short lugs. That means he's going to wear even smaller on the wrist. For someone who doesn't like 38s, mm. is that going to wear Potentially. smaller? Potentially. probably wear. would, yeah. And what's the, what's the mm. lug to lug on that batch? Uh, lug to lug is uh, 43.6 mil, millimeter. So. Mm. Um, it's still got it's a presence. The other it's one. A pretty, okay, yeah. As, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's definitely the looks look smaller. Just in defense of a big crown, though, going with a military vibe, doesn't it make sense for that military stick to have like a, a bigger crown? Yeah, right? you're right. When you're out in the action, yeah, something you can yeah, grab. To, yeah. Grab it with gloves on. True. We've yeah. Got <laughs> we could actually wear Yeah, you're right. You know, when you're when you in a supermarket. Crossing the road. And then it's got no. He's got he's got a crown guard, so you can grab it pretty well without mm. you know. Yeah. Know. yeah. All right. I, I have something. If you guys are ready, do you okay. think the hands are proportionate to the dial and markers? I think the hands, um, like that too hour long. hand, is too big when it's compared yeah. to the. I must admit, the eye is too I, long. The, 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 okay, the, you're right. Exactly. The you second hand. I think mm -hmm. goes right to the track, which it should do. I've heard yeah. a lot of people mention right. it. it. Yeah, but okay. not, you're right with the with the arrow hand. That shouldn't big. go into that shouldn't go into the track. That should no. stop just before <laughs> the track, shouldn't right. it? Agree. Sure. Maybe the numbers were a little minute bit hand, larger. You mean, John? Do you mean the I, minute hand or the little? You know, the inner track. The inner track. You know, the little. Yeah. The little, yeah. The little squares right. and then an inner mm -hmm. track. Yeah, I know. What, yeah, you're saying the hour hand, which I think is the shorter. hour hand, he, he shouldn't be covering the the. It goes right into the inner track, like well, I, like Jerry said. It should just touch the edge of it. Yeah, so it should no, that's be the minute hand. Okay. The, the minute hand. Sorry, the minute yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah the minute yeah, hand yeah, 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 should yeah, be yeah. should be smaller. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Even the hour hand actually touches the numbers. It looks too big for the for the watch. Yeah. Yeah. Second hand, right. which is right ten, there, that goes into the track. That's yeah. <laughs> um, okay, that's I think I agree. Oh, wow. I, yeah. I can't see it now since Palm said uh, the the, 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 the numbers crown? look too small. I can't yeah. see it. And the yeah, the crown I don't mind, but the short lugs and the small numerals are kind of <laughs> standing out a lot now. A minute ago, everyone loved this apart from yeah. Me. Yeah. After listening, <laughs> after listening to you yep. all, I am now completely put off that watch. Yeah. yeah. Right, if we <laughs> the hands, <laughs> the dial, the numerals. Guys, we just lost the sale. I'm sorry. Red yeah. Had his, yeah. No, Red had his drawer okay. open. Red okay. had the Red had his drawer open. Yeah. That was no, closed I, again. I agree. I, I think it was good. I, I yeah, like the non-finished bronze. Like it just gets yeah. kind of more raw. It's not. Really I like very that. Well I like polished. that. Yeah. The, I, like I will that. agree though. That minute hand is just a touch too long. But uh, yeah. maybe maybe this is just a prototype pick, and maybe the standard batches. Maybe it's I hope fixed. so. Yeah. Because mm. it looked like that, there were hands think... laying around, and then yeah. they just threw them on. It doesn't look like those hands mm -hmm. were made for that dial. Yeah, the case mm -hmm. shape and the it lugs is... and the the crown. I think it's fine. Yeah, that's that's quite a matte dial. Sorry, quite glossy. I mean, from the photo, it looks a bit gloss. Do you think a matte dial, more matte kind of dial, yeah, would have would, suited would this? I think that might yeah. be the main gripe. There, it just blings out. Wow. A bit. Yeah, we really a, have a crucified this dial. one. Don't we we have crucified this one, guys. Haven't we? We've gone from and, uh, we've yeah. gone from hero to zero in ten minutes. It was like, <laughs> wow, yeah. that looked really brilliant. Sorry, though, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's no, constructive it's feedback. It's it it constructive it feedback. This is, what, this is yeah. what we do. This is, yeah. You know, yeah. this, this is what this we're all always we honest. Yeah, impartial. Yeah. The only if thing I'll throw buy on it and not spot that. If someone's, if someone, you know, someone gets all gooey and goes and buys it without making a proper, you know, watching something like this, mm. which points things out. 
Yeah, Are there any more pictures you got there, John, of this? Maybe we give it. Let's give it a yeah, couple of angles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, it still doesn't yeah. Wow. redeem it much. Yeah. Can't yeah. unsee it. Wow, that hour <laughs> hand is way too. No, big. you can't unsee. No, you you, you yeah. can't unsee. Yeah, you can't hands, see the hour hands. hands. The hour yeah. hand yeah. touching the ten, and the minute hand going right into the track. You can't no good. see that. No good. It's going to cover the number. You know, it's going to cover. Ooh, that's that's nice. Looks good though. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just wear it and look at the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the brown yeah. strap, I think, has changed it. Yeah. yeah. At first glance, it looks great. And then you look at the detail, mm. and the yeah. details man Palm has just seen it straight away. Yeah. yeah. Well, but the only thing I can add to that is I know Christopher Ward makes a special edition where they do sort of a matte or a muted uh, Christopher Ward logo. And I mm. wish they would do that with more of these military watches. How yeah. do you mean? No, 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 pa pocket. This is the this is the logo now. This is it. The before no, you had Christopher Ward. Written. No, no, they do a special edition one uh, where the color of the logo is kind of the color of the dial, and so you can mm. see it, but it's not like a bam in your face because okay. I, I don't. I don't. I don't I'm, I'm not aware of a special edition. It might just be a certain model where they just change it, but I don't know about I, I special edition. It. I think they made it for a military something i I, right. I remember reading about it and okay and to me it just would be the best flavor of you know it just yeah that bright white on a on a dial that has that you know, doesn't work at all that really oh, doesn't no. work. Oh. Yeah, wrong wrong, no. wrong, wrong. Oh. Yeah. If they're gonna have they What's... offer that strap combination mm. with it they ain't gonna sell that combination with that strap that just looks wrong yeah. there be well, somebody well, somebody on the someone on the circus, it, it, someone it, on the circus the Anybody who's thinking of buying this strap, this strap and watch combination, give your head a wobble, people. Because it's just, uh, <laughs> no. just my what's opinion. What's the hype on this? Stay very what still. <laughs> what's what's the hype match on this one? Uh, the height on this one is uh, eleven point eight millimeter. Eleven, uh, 11 millimeter thick, right? So go 12. on to us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, twelve basically. Yeah. Now, that does that combination does not work. Nope. No. Nope. No. Not at all. No. Nope. Okay. So... Oh, that's nice. The case back's very good. Yeah, case back's nice. Yeah. Man, nice nice yeah. detail. Yeah. <laughs> <You> <laughs> wear it back was... down. It's a power <laughs> reserve on it, though. That's the problem. No, that's yeah, yeah. Okay, so... yeah. See, that's actually okay. Look, so that's yeah, okay. So that's nice. There's, looks nicer. there's a yeah. dial. You can see them. You can see the yeah. the, the, the kind of crackly mm, matte kind double, of finish yeah. on the on the dial. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not glossy. It's it's actually matte and textured, which yeah. might look better if we knowing that. In another picture, possibly. I like that dial now. Loom is good. Loom's, great loom. Loom's yep. pretty, yeah, great loom. So it looks good in the dark. Yeah. Do you just see <laughs> on the loom shutter, you can just see the hand just where it sort of goes under the table. Yeah, you can see the hand <laughs> going over the tent. That's that just wrong. ruins that. That just ruins, that ruins that whole it. shot. That, yeah. The hour you hand. You're right. The, the hour hand going over mm -hmm. the tent. You can see yeah. it there, can't you? Yeah. yeah. What do you think of the second hand having a red tip? You think that's a good thing, or I don't mind that. I like the red tip. Servicing <laughs> wise, <laughs> you can you indicate yeah. your service? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely been serviced recently. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> been recently <laughs> serviced. <Yeah. laughs> but I can't oh, see the uh, you know the uh, the hands in the crown don't belong to. Yeah. Yeah. He's, not even looking, he's not even looking at that that second hand. He just you just can't <laughs> unsee so the red, the coming thing. out yeah, of the case. With, yeah, with the crown. Wow. Yeah, wow. we've seen. Once you see the flaws, you can't unsee them, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so... Nice texture on the dial, though. Good nice texture. Be dial, that is yeah. great texture on the dial. Now that we've... It's, yeah. it's you know, macro uh, shot. And it's like aged loom. Nice. It's not bright yeah. white loom. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Hands, ha sorry. hands almost look wooden there, like, don't they? They, they do, don't, don't they? Don't they? Yeah. Mm. The brush hands. Like wood. Yeah, they're called the mm. brush yeah. That's what they mean, man. A lot of bronze, no? I bet. Sorry, the hands bronze. bronze. Yeah, so would the hands age as well over time? They I guess if humidity them. got inside the watch. I imagine yeah. it would do. Imagine it would yeah. do. Yeah. Well, they do look wooden, don't they? So lovely. They do there, yeah. Close up, it looks would pretty you... good. Is there some symbol, symbolic meaning of the triangle being like that way up, as on traditional other watches, is the other way around? Oh. The point on the bottom. I don't know if that means anything. Mm. That's true. I'm not aware of. But that's a good. It's a good. 
Good point. It's not a military okay. thing, is it? Or... No, not that I'm aware of, no. But, I mean, they have designed okay. this with, with the military people, so perhaps... Could be a military. Now, some meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Answers so on the postcard. The, the next one is the... <laughs> this, is the this is the Dartmouth. Ooh. That makes sense, nice. those hands and that crown. Uh, you know. I, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that whole thing. No. <laughs> you don't like that. Yeah. Well, wow, you don't like the whole thing to start to finish. No, I just. Wow. It's that. Wow. It's the bezel. The, the the that bezel just looks as if so many other brands have done it. You know that sort of style yeah. of bezel. Now. It, it just very mill sub though, isn't it? It looks very mill sub. That uh, yeah, very well, more more kind mm. of like maybe more bland or something. You know, with the with the yeah yeah yeah, yeah like actually, more yeah. Than, it's it the sub. So, uh, Red, when uh, when you said that, Red, there was something what's bugging me about this, and it's do you know like the mar all the kind of age coloring on all the markers? Does it not look a look a little busy compared to a normal diver style? It does. It, mm -hmm. it, yeah. it does. It looks that to me looks a bit of a mess. That whole thing. Yeah, and, that's what I thought. Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to say about it. Once I mention this, you'll yeah. probably never get it out of your mind. It looks like a spiky <laughs> porcupine. Yeah. It is yeah. a bit is this, busy, right? Is this, is this 38 or 41? Or? Yeah. What spec is it, please, guys? Yeah, you've got the spec there. On, Anyone? Yeah, on, on this, it's 41. 41. 22, it looks like, on the, on the strap. Say that again. I'm sorry, Chad. Oh, 22 yeah, on the up. strap. It looks kind of wide on, on the strap. Yeah, it'd be 22. The strap will be 22, 22 strap. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, 22 you, strap. Yeah. No, I don't. No, sorry. I. Are you right? I don't like all the markings. It's a lot. All around the bezel, mm. and then you've got the markings on the in between the indices. It's full of them, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's mm. full of markings, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of lines. I think you could have done mm. with backing the bezel markings off a bit. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. It, it mm. not necessary. All of those markings. Not when you've got the truck going around it. You know, yeah. on the inner, on yeah, the dial, I mean, it just makes it look a mess. And you've got yeah. the bezel. There's too many white. Too markings. many. Far too many. Yeah, it's, it is a porcupine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, let's it's have a look at all. Of, yeah. Let's have a look at all. Of, there again. I mean, and that combination as well just doesn't. Even if you like the watch, that combination does not work. That strap with that watch. I actually think it looks marginally better there. It looks marginally it looks really better. Good. I think it does yeah. look better. Yeah. Marginally better. Yeah. It it mutes out all the porcupine with the nice soft leather. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, if, if you could change the bezel, it'd be perfect, right? <laughs> if it yeah, just brought out yeah. a new bezel. Okay. That's a better oh, that's, combination. That's nice. Oh. Yeah, tropical. Yeah. Tropical. Yeah. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really, that looks good. Better on a, on a blue tropic, yeah. I think that's the... No. No, well, I, I think no. nice that strap looks like something. It looks like an old sort of, you know, like the you know the material <laughs> from the seat of a of a bus or something. You know, that's hard, hard tonight. I'm struggling here tonight with these. I, I like it. Uh, I do like it on that tropic strap. I, I do. No, yeah, I, do, I, do, I, I like do. tropic straps here. Yeah. It's a standard. Do you thing, like right? it enough to make? Um, to, hold on. Do you like it enough power to buy one? How much is this one? Uh, nine hundred and fifty pounds. One thousand one hundred and fifty dollars and one thousand two hundred and twenty-five um, euros. However, it's probably in... changed. <laughs> no. If I was in no. for a blue diver, I wouldn't go for no. this one at that no, price. No, yeah. no, I'd go for one of their other range, which is. Oh yeah, there's other so range. many other models to choose. So from. many other models they do, yeah. which is which are yeah. nicer than this one. To be honest, yeah. absolutely. But that no. new range you did, like uh, the last range, was beautiful. Yeah, could but at least a this nice is one. slightly you know. different as well, though. Yeah, yeah, there is a nice one, John. You're right, the Aquatine. But they, at least know. they've changed it a bit with these. They have okay. They've they've gone all out with the the track and on the bezel and inside on the dial. Yeah, too much. But um, it is too at least much. Tried it's something different. Yeah. So just some interesting I points like, on actually, this. Is like, you know, in, uh, <laughs> when in the Millennium Falcon, where the Star Wars, and they're going to light speed. Yeah, and the stars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's the uh, war. <laughs> yeah, you about to enter yeah. Light speed. Yeah, I see. Yeah. I see. You were saying that uh, some interesting points. Yeah, just some. So the height is almost thirteen millimeter, so it's quite a thick watch, and the weight's at seventy three grams, so it's quite a heavy 
piece as well compared to the others we've been looking at. Okay. Yeah. So solid then, which is good. Very solid, so, yeah. Very well made, I'd imagine. The same, movement same is... Movement. Which one? Yeah. Same movement, yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, 200 metres, water resistant, yep. 200, not bad. For that price, that's not bad. Yeah. Get on that strap again. Let's have a look at the back of it. Oh, I like the back. This is the case. Oh, yeah, what, what no, it looks nice. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. It's a Royal Navy 0552. Mm. So they're, all they've done is gone in and they've. I think they'll probably offer a discount to anyone in the Royal Navy, the 0552, which is the Navy reference. So. Oh, wow. It's, yeah, but it's not issued in any way. It's not an issued model at all. What they do in collaboration with, they, they usually give them a discount. Allow them to to purchase them at um, some, some discounted price if you if you were if you if you if you're in the Royal Navy. Mm. It's certainly not it's certainly not issued. Um, okay, so here's a question for you guys: Do you prefer this to the Sandhurst one we just saw, the bronze one? No, no, but I prefer the Sandhurst. Mm. Yeah, if I had to pick, it would be the Sandhurst one, and the non-bronze oh, one as well. I would pick this. Yeah. No, no, just yeah. the bronze one. Yeah. We haven't You're seen the non bronze one, yeah. yet. Yeah, I haven't, we haven't seen the non bronze one yet. But yeah, the over the mm. bronze. Yeah, I would pick this. Yeah, yeah. Just... Okay, okay. Oh, is the Ooh, darn loom? All... No, that's a nice loom. Mm. That's that. that see, the... Sorry, the bezel's green, fine now. <laughs> green yeah. loom. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. a green loom <laughs> and a blue dial. Really? Yeah, that's tough. No. I like. No. It. I think it's quite no. funky. I I do like. No, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't. A, nah. It doesn't offend me. Doesn't light that. speed now. Yeah, no, not entering light yeah. speed now. The, exactly. Yeah. Me. Yeah, watch is much better in the dark. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Okay. okay. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna keep my comment to myself. Yeah. <laughs> do you like an erasure? Yeah, it's it's too. It's a bezel. It's just. Nope. Nope. I don't, I'm not. I've got to say, I'm more of a fan of this than the last one. I, I I don't mind it. I got to admit, I don't mind mm. it. I, I, I agree. Can't buy it, yeah. but I don't mind it. No, I'm not yeah. buying it, okay. but I agree. Yeah. No. It's nice. It, it, it's well, it's it, it's nice event. Yeah, I prefer it. It's yeah. just for bezel for me. I can't see, but yeah. I think if you're a no. fan of Crystal Ward watches, this is a good yeah. one. If you know, if yeah, you just it's... want a dive watch rather than a Christopher Ward dive watch, then you know that mm -hmm. that could mm. be a factor. Military yeah. reference, yeah. Which yeah. one's this one again? Uh, Cranwell. Yeah, this is the C65 Cranwell, Cranwell Series 2. Cranwell, right. Yeah. Let's just maximize it again. This is... Right. This is steel. Right. So, what do we think? Let's have a look at that. Let's let's crucify oh, the hands, no. right? The hands look okay. Oh, they do. Oh, yeah. They do. Yeah. Better. Better. The crown, yeah. the crown yeah. now that's been pointed out, just looks ridiculous. It does. Yeah. <laughs> there it again, does. it could be an oversized crown to be able you to know, wear... Someone... See even a, see even in that picture, it looks as if it's sort of in like a CGA onto it, like doesn't it? It doesn't even look part of the watch. No, that, it yeah. looks like yeah, yeah, it's almost as if it's mm. Photoshop, Photoshop. Yeah, it, does look yeah, like it looks as, it looks like a Photoshop crown. Do you, do you, do you think this is final? Do you think this um, stuff is final? You know, maybe it's a well, bit to be honest, rendered. I maybe I don't know. There, there were certain reasons why they couldn't send me a sample because they're working on stuff. So maybe. We'll okay. go into specifics. Mm. But there were certain reasons yeah. why so, they couldn't send me. So why they couldn't send me a sample of anything. Mm. So it'd be fair, maybe subject to change across all of the range yes. for the finer maybe, details, that, right? That, that could be an idea. Yeah. So let's hope See if that watch had a smaller crown. That would, I think, that would be really, really nice. You yeah, know, I like the sector dial as well. It, yeah. yeah, red. Yeah. During the yeah. during the sort of intro video, that's the watch that sort of initially stood out to me. But I was looking more at the dial and at the hands. Uh, but now that I see that crown, it just doesn't. It's just, it is too big. Yeah. It's too big. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. You're yeah. right. So let's I do like the lug size. The, 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 all of these have got quite short lugs. Um, and I, I like the way it's just proportioned that way. It's not, I mean, the first one we saw, the uh, was that the Sandhurst was just too. Mm. There's something wrong with the proportion there. Yeah. Yeah. But this yeah. looks a lot. I mean, this is uh, 11.6 millimeters as well. So it's obviously a lot less, less, lot less, not as tall. Yeah. 60 yeah. grams. So going to be quite a light one. 
150 meter water Lots. resistance. I mean, but the lug to lug is 43.6, which I think okay. is standard on all of them. No, actually, no, yeah. this is so uh, remember, this isn't a dive watch, so 150 is kind of acceptable, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's not really a, mm -hmm. a dive yeah. watch per se, it's a military. No one's of... going to go down that far anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. correct. 20 mil uh, lug width as well, so yeah. Yeah. Flexible and, and I like. I tell you what, I like the, the upside down, the triangle, the right way round triangle in yeah. real life, mm. and the upside down on a watch with the two <laughs> dots and the loom. Yeah, I, I do like that. On and on that yeah. twelve o'clock, three, six, nine, just, and twelve, they've they've uh, loomed it. More, uh, and get some patina dip, sorry, yeah. faux patina yeah. dip. What's uh, what's the price point again on this one? I can't remember. This is eight hundred ninety-five pounds, one thousand eighty dollars, okay. or one thousand one hundred sixty-five euros. That's a lot of money. Right, okay. So, fall in a similar ballpark, right? I'd say so, give or take, yeah. More or less. Yeah. Here now, and there, yeah. It's like... 50, do we think that... Sorry, go sorry, on, sorry. Do we think that this range of watches have moved the prices up a bit for Christopher Ward watches? Because I think so, yeah, Red. There's a lot right. of other, you know, there's a lot of other watches, like, before that I've seen, and indeed, and indeed of one in order, that are you know seen better value now compared mm. to these? Right. Yeah, I mean the khaki fit. I, mean, I know we didn't. We, we I know we had a bit of a, a do with some other Hamilton watches a few weeks ago, but the khaki field, a hundred percent, is more value for money. I think than these. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I think that I think the I think they've started to up up the price here. Maybe you know, mm. maybe the whole economy, the way of the world, is, you know, is starting to reflect mm. here. But I think the prices have definitely increased here for what you're getting. Yeah. If you asked me what this price would be, I would say three a uh, seven ninety five US, something around eight fifty max. Not not yeah, over so five hundred, maybe yeah. five hundred UK or something. It's not a nine hundred yeah. quid UK no, watch, no, is it? No, no. No, no that's yeah. all the pictures, guys. They've only given us they haven't given many pictures oh, okay. of the at all. That's that's a lot for pictures. So um okay. yeah, so we've seen the range. Um we haven't seen the steel Sandhurst, have we? Or did we already see that? We uh, saw the bronze Sandhurst. I don't know if we saw the steel one. Just... Maybe not. No, it's it's in the video. If we want to quit, it's, <laughs> it's in the let first me... one in the video, so right, we could just play just that through... first part. Yeah, the stand, the C sixty five sand, the first Sandhurst we showed was the steel Sandhurst. Ah, oh, was it very very okay. first on the brown okay. on the brown strap? Okay. okay. Okay, I thought it was a bronze. Okay, okay. so well, fair enough. Yeah, we had the, we had cool. the yeah we had the we had the first one, we, and then we had the, then we went through to the bronze one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well I, well, I know I'm biased with my uh, my love for different metals, but I'm voting bronze. So the bronze yes. is the winner of the pick for me. <laughs> well, really, even with those, even though even with those hands, you can't. Yeah, really even say. with the big hands, it, uh, it's and the crown. Wow. Even uh, at twelve hundred and five dollars. Well, I don't know if I'd spend twelve hundred dollars. Mm. Uh, no. no. Yeah. There you no. go. Then. <laughs> but of the yeah. four, of the selection, you mean? Yeah. Of, of the four, it's my yeah. favorite because I I like the raw look. So the the raw mm -hmm. unfinished uh, bezel, I just think that makes yeah. it look old and just kind of makes it look military. So it it yeah. as I said, just had sort of the most personality to it. But Fair enough. Uh, mm -hmm. enough. So guys, mm -hmm. you've seen the you've seen the range now. So um, obviously go on the the website and have a look and see what the, see have a look at the, the pictures Absolutely. they've got on the website. I'd be interested to mm -hmm. drop a comment in the um in the video and let us know what you think of them, good or bad. Let us know whether you agree with with what we said, you know, was which one takes your fancy. Let's get a bit of engage some uh gauge something going with some um yeah some some good comments and some some uh, good dialogue going and what you all think of it. Also I'd uh, say do you think this follows the the DNA of Christopher Ward. Do, do these watches? Well, um, this this is an update. Think... They have had the military ones before, before. So it's kind of. No, I mean to the people yeah. in the comments. No, do, when yeah, they right. comment, yeah. Do you yeah. think mm -hmm. this is typical of Christopher Ward and what you'd expect from a Christopher Ward range of watches, yeah. or do you think this is going in a direction they should pursue or not pursue? Yeah, I mean, mm. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't be interested to know whether the military range was ever a good seller for them. The last ones, it's not their core mm. range. You're not, they're not known for that. You know what I mean? It's the, their core range is like the Aquitaine and the mm. things like that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because what's uh, off the top of you guys' heads? Do you guys know what the Aquitaine price is? So, like, what's the difference between this and the Aquitaine? Yeah. 
Oh. I think it's kind of close. Yeah. You're on that $1,200. I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah, it's probably right like there. a $1,200 difference. And, uh, yeah, let's just bring, while we've got a few minutes, let's just bring up the, uh, the Christopher Ward website. And I will, Even um, if it's 14, it's still much better. I mean, if you you know look at John and I's ombre, you know mm -hmm. our bronze ombre, none of these hold the candle to that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that it's, even that bronze one doesn't doesn't hold doesn't. Yeah, hold no, absolutely. Like I would choose yeah. your guys' bronze. Oh, absolutely. The, the, the mm -hmm. new version. Yeah. Okay, I've got the uh, I've got the Aquitaine up now. I'm just going to um, just going to share the screen, guys, and we'll just see what the. Uh, that's the closest i think the aquatine is the closest to the to the dartmouth so let me have a look so okay so there's the aquatine to me oh, that's, that's, nice, the, that's the closest yeah. see look at that they've got that yeah, that's yeah. that is the bezel that should have been yeah. on agree 100 percent. it's not because it's got all the it's got all the track, hasn't it, with all the all and the inner track. So it doesn't need the bezel to mm -hmm. go with it as well. That doesn't need it on the outer. Yeah. It doesn't need yeah. it on the outer. So that is that is what it should be, and that makes it yeah. just But are there watches that do have it? Is it like paying homage to to those? Well, is that why I mean Well, it's it trying to is it the first one ever or mm. I don't think they are. Okay, so it's an mm. O five two. It's trying to make maybe be mill subish. Mm. But the mill sub, even though the mills, the proper mill sub, had a full um, bezel, not like the normal, not like the normal Rolex um, Submariner, it still didn't have all the little indices like that. Not as many, absolutely not. The bit, the bezel isn't as busy as that. Even it's nowhere near as busy on the mill. No, yeah. no way. The mill sub, the bezel is nowhere near as busy. No. That's yeah, no, but in my mind, definitely. Yeah, I, mean, I hope we make a change. As far, but... as, far as Christopher, mm. of course, Christopher Ward goes. I think, I think the new, the new three hundreds were the um, with what was which introduced um last time. I'm sure. Let's just see if we can find the. Let's just see if we can find the three hundreds. A minute. I think they are the. They are the they are the what the new they're, they're the ones I think definitely. Right, the new C60 Pro 300s, something like that. Yeah, that, that's you know, that, beautiful in comparison. That is yeah, beautiful. Much, so much better, yeah. So yeah, much better. Yeah. Clean. So look at the price. Yeah, English, and it's deeper. That's, that's 705 pounds. So, so if you, can you just tell us if you still got it up, guys? The Dartmouth on a 950 on a strap. It's... Yeah, nine hundred fifty. You see, they're putting they're putting the prices up. This is like if you want to buy a Christopher Ward, buy one of the older ones at the minute because I think like a lot mm. of things in life, the price is going to increase, and this is clear that any new watches that they're going to bring out. Well, this is a new one, going... guy. This has got the new. This is this has got the new logo. This, isn't mm. got this is new. This is the one yeah, but released recently, two months ago. Mm. Uh, yeah. Recently, but yeah, I. Yeah, but I but I think that even you know, anything sort of you know new as of as of today, you know they're going to have a, a higher price again because it's just the way you know the whole economy is going, the way things are yeah things are heading. It's getting it's harder just, to resource materials. What, what, move, yeah. what movement is in these tridents, John? Do you think that's what is it? Is that the reason that the? I'm sure more... it's still the same. Let's have a look. Let's pick, for instance, this one, no. which is clearly yeah. looking at the great white, isn't it? It's clearly oh, showing oh, itself yeah, in the face. Yeah. It's, it's still Salita SW two hundred. The same SW two hundred meter water, okay. three hundred meters no. water resistant. That clearly yeah. is that's... going straight into great white territory. Yeah, and that's more water and resistant this, than any of these, yeah. all of these watches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and is this one's? So is this Cosca as well? Um, no, it's not. Sit, no, it's not Cosca. No. Okay. No, yeah. Okay. Maybe this Cosca thing that's costing no. more to produce, mm. but it costs nothing. I mean, Mike Mike Franz actually said on an interview with um, Miami Sam that cost it costs about thirty quid or something to get cost certificate. It doesn't cost a lot at all. Right. Okay. So it's not a... no. Yeah. And I so said these ones they do three different they do three different size cases, 30, 38, 40, 42. And I tried mm -hmm. one on I said last at Brands Arch a couple of weeks ago when I went to Christopher Ward do. I think it was the 40 or 42. And that bracelet is amazing. that bracelet is amazing. A beautiful bracelet. Yeah. It's got proper adjustment, it's got proper screw screw adjustment. 
Yeah. Here's my prediction. This is my prediction. They're going to put the cost of of the rest of the range up very quickly. You know, very sooner rather than later. I think the rest of the range will increase in price. Moving forward, or you Christmas World watches now? Get them quick. Yeah, before the price I think they're just going. I think they'll be. I think. I think across the board, they will. They will increase the price of their watches. If you look at the cost of those new release watches that we've just covered. They are more expensive than everything yeah, else on definitely. the site. Yeah. So whatever's on the site now, get one while you can. Um, but I think it'll increase the price on everything. Yeah, I think when I think when these particular range, I mean, is this six nine five seems so cheap? Yeah, I'm yeah, value in this. Look at that. I must admit, this is red. This has got pre-order, so obviously now if you pre-order it, you'll get it. You'll get it at this price at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Red yeah. knows well, all about well, pre-ordering, does it? Red knows all about pre-ordering, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> prices oh, yeah. can change. Yeah, with his two to Yes, prices yeah. can change as well. No, but no, no, but guys, when you pre-order this, you pay for it now. You don't pay yeah. it when you get it, you pre-order yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I would yeah. if you if you're thinking about one, I would pre-order it now because yeah. I genuinely think they're gonna I I think that I think that's a great insight tonight as to where prices are going with Probably yeah. with Christopher Ward and perhaps with other and oh, perhaps yeah. with other oh, yeah. brands as well. Yeah. yeah, they're going up. Maybe. Yeah, it's fair yeah. to yeah. Fair observation. Okay, yeah. I'm going to wrap this up. I said, um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Got yes. the launch in at yeah two o'clock, which is pretty good. Uh, have a look at the website and uh, have a look at all the military range come out and any, anything else. You and said, do what Red says. Just if you need, if you've been hankering after Christopher Ward, do what Red says. Thinking, shall I pull the trigger? Pull the trigger now because if we're going by the prices of the military, everything could go up. It's probably not them being greedy, to be absolutely honest, because I heard stories that they actually reduced the price of a hundred quid but on one range of watches because there was less metal in it. There was actually less metal in it, so they actually reduced the price by a hundred quid. I know that for a fact. Mm. Okay. Um I only pick but it could be just with what's going on in the world at the moment, it's probably not. It's probably materials. They're probably not making a lot of money on. It. I mean, the guy Patrick said to me, "There's not a lot. They don't make a lot of money on the watches, anyhow. They really don't. They do not make a. You know, it's, they don't make a lot of watch money on the watches. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, please, uh, please comment, please subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the live launch. Uh, thank you again to my panel. Uh, thank you, Palm. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Cherish. Thank you. thank you, Pocket. And thank you, Red. We've got some really good insights then um, to everything. So I wish everybody a good afternoon. And we will see you again. Have soon. a great rest of the day. Very soon. Yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you, everybody. Absolutely. Much.